Hello, dear students. Welcome to China Today. And your instructor, Wang Hen, from Guangxi Normal University. In this session, you'll be learning Chinese family values. Over thousands of years, Chinese people have created their own culture. At the same time, they have also formed their own moral code, which played an important role in social development and progress. It's what we call traditional virtues, which do have great significance for Chinese people in the current society. Accordingly, the corresponding value system based on these well-established rules and ethical traditions are thousands of years old. It has become a fundamental guide for social manners and etiquette, and lies in every aspect of social life in China. In this session, we will mainly discuss how it works in Chinese people's family life on a more personal level. Family is very important to every single one in China, and it is also a key component of Chinese culture. As the three culture classic says, Cohere father, son, man, wife is one. Brothers are blend, hand in hand. Senior to young, the ethical run. These behaviors and criteria are the reflection of Chinese family values, placing an emphasis on the affection between parent and child. Harmony between husband and wife, fraternal love and respect between siblings and friends, and the precedence between elders and the younger ones. No doubt, when we talk about Chinese family values, filial piety should be mentioned first. Filial piety is central concept in Chinese family values. It is also the source of all virtues in Confucianism. As the Chinese saying goes that, filial piety is the basis of all virtues, respecting and caring for your parents as your primary duty in China. People believe that those who are concerned with their parents' well-being and fulfill their obligations and responsibilities to their parents would be more likely to be honest with friends and loyal to associates, as well as their country and the people. They are innately more inclined to be grateful to others and seek ways to retain their kindness. There are many stories which demonstrate how the filial piety was well practiced in ancient China. Taste the liquor medicine for mother is one of the most famous stories. It's a story about how a filial son looked after his sick mother with all his heart. Han Wendi Liu Hen was the fourth empire of the Han dynasty of China. His mother had been sick for three years. During her treatment and recovery, he often stayed up for her bedside and nursed her day and night. Besides, to ensure that the liquid medicine was not too hot or too bitter, he always tasted the medicine first before giving it to his mother. Fortunately, his mother finally became well and recovered from illness, thanks to his effort and support. In a broad sense, filial piety not only consists of respect, obedience, and the care for one's own parents, but also the other elderly family members. Traditionally, in Chinese culture, the oldest members of a family deserve us our master respect. In addition, it's also extended to other seniors outside the immediate family. 
which means you should respect them like you respect your own elderly relatives. Chinese people have valued children's education since antiquity. Besides, the teachers' parents have the same responsibility and duty for educating and disciplining their own kids. Here comes another old Chinese saying. Feeding without teaching, the father should be responsible for his fault. Teaching without strictness, the teacher will be blamed for his laziness. Therefore, parents should try their best to provide favorable conditions for their children's growth. And meanwhile, expect that their children could become a talent, contributing both to the family and to the society. Why this bright parenting beliefs and the philosophers are embodied in a Chinese idiom? Manchu's mother, three moves. It tells a story of how a mother made every effort to find a best place to raise her child. Manchu's, also known as Mengzi, was a Chinese sage. When he was young, his family moved three times. It's because his mother was afraid that the chaotic living environment would have a negative impact on his growth. Therefore, no matter how hard life was, his mother still chose to move from one place to another until they settled down near a school. Chinese family takes children's education seriously. That's because in Chinese culture, children are considered as the future of a family and the young people are seen as the future of the nation. Respecting the aged and taking care of children is the virtue that ensures the harmony of a family and the stabilization of a society. It also provided a firm social base for the development of the Chinese nation. Chinese value their family above all else. We believe Harmony in family leads to a success in everything. So it's important to properly handle the relationship with family members. Confucius once said, cultivate one's morality, regulate one's family, govern the country, and make the world peaceful. It emphasizes the significance of family for a stable and strong nation. Moreover, Guojia, the Chinese word for country or state, actually is comprised of two characters. The first, Guo, means state or nation, while the second, Jia, means family. In Chinese philosophy and culture, each family is closely associated with the whole nation. Dear students, this lecture comes to an end now. See you next time.